Okay, this is journal page 192, section 9.2, surface area of pyramids. And we're going to work through number one. Number one, the area of the base is what we have to find first, because remember, we're going to be using the base plus the one half perimeter times height. And that's to get the surface area of a pyramid. Okay, so the area of the base, this is a square. Remember that they're regular polygons, so it's 11 here, which means it has to be 11 here. To find the area of a rectangle, we do length times width, which will be 11 times 11, which equals 121. So my area of the base is 121. We put that in for B, 121. Big B stands for area of the base. Now we do one half, one half times P, and that's the perimeter of the base. So we go back to the base. It's 11, 11, 11, 11. To walk all the way around that thing, you're going to go 44. And then the H is the height of one of these lateral triangles. And that's 14, it says it right there, 14. So I don't know what 44 times 14 is, so I'll do it off to the side. 44 times 14. Six hundred sixteen, and I have one half of six hundred sixteen, so that'll be three hundred eight. So now I have one twenty one plus three hundred eight, and one twenty one plus three hundred eight equals four hundred twenty nine centimeters squared because we're doing area. Number two, we use the same formula. Surface area equals the area of the base plus one half the perimeter of the base times the height. This time the base is a triangle, so we will use area of a triangle equals one half base times height. The base and the height of this triangle come together to form this perpendicular right here, 9 and 7.8. So I have 1 half of 9 times 7.8. Half of 9 is 4.5, so I have 4.5 times 7.8, 40. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, what is zero? Seven times five is 35, 28, 29, 30, 31, zero, one, five, three. So the area of the base is, oh, two numbers behind the decimal, two numbers behind the decimal, 35.1, or one zero, but the zero's not needed, plus one half the perimeter, nine plus nine plus nine is 27, times the height, which is eight. So I have 35.1 plus one half of eight is four, and four times 27 is 108. Thirty-five point one times one or plus one hundred eight. I'll show it off to the side because a lot of times students will line these up wrong. Remember, you have to line up the decimal. Putting a point zero here makes it a little harder to mess up. One, bring down the decimal. Three, 
four, one. One, four, three, point one. Yards squared. Yards squared because it is area. Number three. Again, we'll be using surface area of a pyramid equals the area of the base plus one half the perimeter of the base times the height. The shape of this base is a triangle, so area of a triangle equals one half base times height. And the base and the height of this triangle, that is the base, is 6 and 5.2. So 1 half, 6, 5.2. 1 half of 6 is 3, and 3 times 5.2 is 15.6. 15.6. Plus 1 half the perimeter. The perimeter would be 6 plus 6 plus 6, or 18. And the height is this height here that goes up to the point, which is 12. So now I have 15.6 plus half of 18 is 9, and 9 times 12 is 108. And 15.6 plus 108 would be 123.6 feet squared. All of this work should be on your lined paper. It should be all nice and neat like this. I may have enough room for the next problem, but I've got a whole back side, so I'm going to flip this over. And if I flip mine over, since I've worked in marker, you can see all that. So I'm going to use another piece of paper. You can use your back. Number four, Again, base plus one half perimeter H is how we're getting the surface area. And this time, the base is a hexagon. One, two, three, four, five, six. You actually don't need to know that it is called a hexagon, but you do need to know that it has six sides. I don't know how to find the area of a six-sided shape, but it gave it to me right there. So I don't have to do any calculations. I can just write in 439.1 for the area of the base plus one half of the perimeter. And here's why I needed to know it was six sides, because I have 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, and 13 to get all the way around that, or 13 times 6. which is 78. So 78. And then the height is the height up to the top here, which is 30. And now I have 439.1 plus, I don't know what 78 times 30 is, but I do know one half of 78 is 39. So I can do 39 times 30. One thousand one hundred seventy. Add these together. Remember to line up your decimals. This has a point 0.1. This doesn't have a decimal shown, so you can put point 0.0 if you want to. 439.1. meters squared.
The last one, it says the surface area of a triangular pyramid is 305 square inches. The area of the base is 35 square inches. Each face has a base of nine inches. What is the slant height? The slant height is this height of the triangle that goes up to the point. So now we have to work backwards through this problem. The total surface area is 305 inches. So we know that the base plus one half times the perimeter times the height equals 305. They also said that the area of the base is 35, so I can put that in. It's a triangular pyramid, which means that there are three um, sides to the base, and each face has a base, no, each face has a base of nine inches. So that means it's the Perimeter would be 27 because if this were it, it would be 9 plus 9 plus 9. It says that the base is 9 um, and there it's a triangle. And we're trying to find the height. Well, the first thing we're going to do is subtract 35 from both sides. And now we have 1 half times 27 times h equals 270. Um, we should simplify this side when half of 27 is 13.5 h equals 270. Divide both sides by 13.5, that's a 0.5. And you get H equals, let's look, 20, 270 divided by 13.5. Move the decimal one place. Move the decimal one place. So we have to put a zero in here. 135 goes into 270 twice, which is 270. Don't forget about this zero. Bring it down. 135 goes into zero, zero times, which is zero. H equals 20. Well, I hope this helped. I hope you took your time and went through it and understand it. But if you have any questions, please ask me in class tomorrow. Have a great night.